Hillary and I first met Muhammad Yunus way back in February of 1983 while attending the National Governors Conference in Washington, D.C. After he described Ramin, I knew that we had to have something like it in my native state. Over the next couple of years, I saw microcredit work in Chicago and heard more about it around the world. When I said we wanted to do it in Arkansas, a mutual friend told me it would take about six months to set it up. But Professor Yunus told me we could start it the next morning. And the very next week, with a $375 loan for a nail sculpting box, a few hundred dollars for a used sewing machine, and $600 for a tamale push cart, that's exactly what he did. Years later, when I was running for president in 1992, I did an interview with Rolling Stone magazine in which I praised the work of Muhammad Yunus and the Grameen Bank. The reporter responded by saying he thought I was then the only politician he'd ever met who'd even heard of Dr. Yunus. I doubted he was right, but I did say that I thought so highly of him, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize for his work because he made enterprise work and because he promoted independence, not dependence, and that was a major force for making a more peaceful world. Well, it took 14 years but the Nobel Committee could not have picked a more deserving recipient. After I became president, I made sure that the USAID program funded a couple of million of those loans a year around the world, and we set up a program in, through the Congress to finance microcredit enterprise all around America for the first time. In the years since Muhammad Yunus began and since the summit began, the progress that has been made toward the summit's original goal set back in 1997 of reaching 100 million of the world's poorest families with credit for self-employment and other financial and business services is really quite remarkable. 82 million of the poorest families have been reached. 113 million total clients were reached last year with a micro loan. And I know the summit estimates that the original goal of reaching 100 million of the world's poorest families will be attained by the end of this year just one year late. That is a tremendous accomplishment. Looking forward, the goals laid out this weekend in Halifax, including one to lift half a billion people out of extreme poverty by 2015, are inspiring and visionary, and will require a renewed effort and commitment on all of our parts. But they can be reached. We can reach the goal of lifting 500 million people out of extreme poverty by the end of 2015, if the plans laid at this weekend summit are successful. And because I believe that, I believe it because I believe in Muhammad Yunus. I believe in Grameen and its example. I believe in the commitment of all of you at the summit. Collectively and individually, you have already done truly amazing work and we just need to keep on doing it. In my travels around the world, I see over and over again that intelligence and dreams and the willingness to work hard are evenly distributed throughout the world. But opportunity, investment, and systems at work are not evenly distributed. You are plotting the right path to build those systems, to make those investments, to provide that opportunity and empowerment. It is difficult work, I know, but the rewards are infinite. I thank you for your passion to make a difference, and I thank you for the difference you have made and will make.